I'm always talking about how branding your books will help you sell more of them. And I have made a few videos letting you know what that means and how you should brand your books. Today I want to show you a niche that is perfect for branding and that is the educational niche. Hello home bosses, my name is Nuria Corby from thehomeboss.com. Welcome to my channel. If you have been following me, you know that my main income comes from publishing and I have seen a big improvement in my sales when I started to build brands for my books. In particular, the educational niche has great branding potential. So why are educational books so perfect for branding? Well, when parents or educators are looking for resources, they lean towards brands they recognize and trust. Let's take a look at some examples on Amazon. So I've typed activity books for kids into the search bar and this is what has come up as a result. And as you can see, there are lots of fun activity books. But what I want you to look at is how low their BSRs are. This is the BSR and for anyone who doesn't know what that is, it stands for Best Seller Rank. And it works like the music charts in a way where number one is the best one. So the lower this number, the better. That means the lower the number, the more books they're selling. And to have a book ranking at 1,886, as you have here, is really low. And that's amazingly good. And even this one here at 69,899, that's not bad either. Of course, this is a Halloween activity book. So these books have been very popular recently because Halloween has just finished and uh, they're still retaining their their high BSRs or their low BSRs, we should say, but it means they're selling, they're still selling quite a lot of books. But here's another really good one, 1,886, very low BSR. And uh, if we scroll further down, all of these are really low. 797 is amazing. We can all hope to have books with low BSRs like this. And uh, that means that they are making quite a lot of money with these books. So just by typing in activity books for kids, we've already got some really amazing results here. Of course, you can use other keywords. You could type in uh, maths activities for kids or workbooks for kids, activity workbooks, all those kind of keywords will come up with some really good results for you. And you can see how much this is in demand. And traditionally, the sort of educational books have been dominated by big brands. And I'll show you an example. So there's a really nice one that I really like, and that is Sujatha Lalgudi, I hope I pronounced her name right, but she has some really lovely educational book titles. You can see how on brand she is with all of them. The covers all have the same colors, the same fonts. You can really say that when you look at one of her books, that this is a Sujatha Lalgudi book because you can tell they're all in the same sort of branding style. And her books are amazing because they have such low BSRs. And she also formats them differently. So she has Kindle books and she translates them to other languages as well. So this is a really good example of a, of a publisher that knows how to brand their books. Another big publisher is Pearson Education and they have a lot of educational books as well. Very good BSRs. If you dive deeper into them and you research them, they're very good, but they're a big publishing company. And also Humble Math is another one that specializes in the maths niches for education. And uh, this is another great example of how to brand your books and how to create a really recognizable brand. And these are selling a lot. <laughs> these are really, really successful books. So these are some of the brands that are dominating the market right now. So those are Humble Math, Sujatha Lalgudi and Pearson Education, just to name a few. And so far, it has only been possible for big publishing houses to really make these type of books because they are not easy to create. 
However, if you've been watching my channel, you know that I have promoted software in the past that allows us to create educational books in a much easier way. And each of these softwares has given us a new opportunity to tap into a different educational niche. The good news is that there is another app launching on the 3rd of November, which is tomorrow, depending on when you're watching this video. And that is from the same developers, which lets us create measurement worksheets. And I'll let you know more about it a little later. But now let's get into how you can create a recognizable brand for your educational books. So these are the steps you need to take to create your book brand. And you can do that right now. <laughs> so number one is to choose a pen name for your brand. Your author name is your brand identity. So you need to find a pen name or an author name that you're going to use for your brand. And now comes step two that you have to make, and that is to create an author central page. Amazon KDP lets you create an author central page for your pen name and all of your books in, in that brand under that pen name will be featured on that page. So that is the second step that you can make to, to start creating your brand. And step number three is to pick a social media platform and create a page for your brand. This is really important for you to be able to promote your books for free. Social media is a great way to do that. But you have to pick the right platform for your books. For educational books, a visual platform like Instagram or Facebook is great. But also look at where your target audience hangs out. Focus on just one platform to start with. So make sure you choose the best one for your books. You need to do a little bit of research and see which one is best for me. Where do the people that I'm targeting with my books hang out? And if you're making educational books, if you're building an educational brand, I think that Instagram and Facebook are really good platforms for that because a lot of parents hang out there, a lot of mums hang out there. For me, those two have been the best platforms, but just choose one to start with because it does take a lot of work to create a presence on a platform. So just choose the one. That's my bit of advice. Otherwise it gets too much. And number four, step four is to build a website or even just a landing page. Why is this important? Well, a website or landing page will help you collect email addresses from your buyers. And building an email list is extremely important to build your brand. So you don't have to build a whole website. There are free websites you can build, but even just a landing page is fine. You just have to create a sign in form, but I will make more videos on how to build your brand and on all the steps you have to take. So this is just to give you an idea of the things that you can start right now to build your brand. And these four steps are the essential steps you need. And it's not difficult to set up. Branding is about creating a cohesive and trustworthy image. And in the world of educational books, where trust is so important, a brand can be a really great way to achieve those increase in sales. So what kind of books are suitable for branding? Well, they all have to have something in common. So you could create a brand for coloring books, another for planners, a kids book brand. There are a lot of opportunities to brand your books. My last video talks about this and I'm leaving a link after this video if you want to find out more. Once you have decided on the kinds of books you want to turn into a brand, you can also divide them by topic or age or skill level. There are lots of ways to structure your book offering. For an educational brand, this leaves you with so many great opportunities. For example, you could just concentrate on creating educational math books, handwriting practice books or drawing books, or you could combine them 
all under one educational brand name and offer a lot of variety. You can also categorize them by age, by skill level, maybe create them in different languages. There are so many options to expand your brand. This is the beauty of creating a brand because once you build your brand, you can just add to it and there are so many more books that you can create and people will get to know your brand and keep buying your books, which is the important thing. So as I mentioned earlier, there is a new software launching tomorrow that helps you create measurement worksheets. And this is an ideal niche for anybody publishing in the maths niche, but also in the kids educational activities niche. I already made videos about their maths workbook software. They also had a counting workbook generator and now they're offering the measurement worksheets generator. And this one is particularly exciting for me because it reminds me of when my youngest son learned sizes and measuring at school and he was so excited about what he learned. He kept pointing out things around him and telling me, look, mommy, this one is bigger. This one is smaller. Those two trees are the same size. And it was like he suddenly realized something that we take for granted when we're older and we forget how new the world really is for young children and everything they see is somehow magical. And I think that is why I love making children's books and kids activity books so much. Of course, I'm always excited when one of these softwares is launched because it gives me the chance to create more of the kind of books that I love, but it also helps me grow my publishing business and more importantly, my educational brand. So this software will launch the 3rd of November 2023 at 11 a.m. Eastern Time and I will make another video showing you how it works, the kind of books that you can create with it. And I will, of course, have a super duper bonus offer for anybody buying through my link. So think about creating a brand around your books. You can do this with any books. They don't have to be educational. And you can start with the four steps that I gave you earlier in this video. Start soon, create that author page, pick that pen name and launch your brand. And remember, it's not about just selling a book, but it's about building a brand that your buyers come back to time and time again. I hope you found this video helpful. If so, give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe for more insights on the publishing world. And look out for my next video where I will show you what the new software can do for you. And that video will probably be out tomorrow. So thank you so much for watching. See you next time.